looking for flint, for flint and steel, survival, bushcraft, flint napping, and arrowheads. Moose antler to test the rock. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. See this? See how smooth and glassy that is? Give this a quick test. I already know the outcome here. Oh my God. Wow. Let's see what it looks like wet. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Really nice point out of that. Look at that. All right, so that's a good start. Look at this river, man. Check out down there. I see more green here. So what we're going to be doing is testing these rocks, uh, looking for rocks to nap, looking for rocks to make into arrowheads, and testing them in this video. I'll take a flake off this. That is not so great, but it's, it's definitely chert. Let's try a little deeper into the rock. That looks better. That is better. It's got some damage in it, but it'd make good arrowheads, good flint and steel. So this is a good spot. Yeah. I'm gonna try right here. Perfect high quality chert. All right, welcome to the video, guys. You're gonna have a good time on this one. Just woke up 7 30 a.m we got in last night set up the tent and i already got flint and i already made a point look at that we are in flint valley right now yes i need to find more of this stuff and nap it. This stuff. 
the Onondaga. So, I napped this from stuff that I found in the Flint Valley here, and it's pretty freaking good. I really like it. I'm gonna make one later and test it. We'll test it with an atlatl spear thrower. The atlatl is a spear thrower for people that didn't know. All right, we are back at Flint Valley and we are looking in the creeks in the Flint Valley for Flint. Right there. Yep. So we're looking for flint, for arrowheads and flint and steel and bushcraft, survival stuff. Make some stone tools. Maybe do some fishing. Look at that. Look at all those rocks. That's a lot to look at. Uh, it's kind of deep there though, so we can't get over there at the moment. So it looks like there's a little bit of flint in this, a vein here, and maybe a little bit there, but I might be able to get a point out of this. So uh, if the weather holds up, I'll nap a point later from this, and maybe we'll test it. We'll see how it goes. see what's in there then I also found this ripper tumbled kind of flat so we'll see what we got it's a little too loud antler tends to be loud. Hmm. Not too bad. All right. So let me uh, try to get in a little deeper and I'll work on a lake from this stuff. Like that. Look at that stuff.
not too bad in there. Ooh, nice. All right. Came mostly gone. Kind of, kind of round it off. And it broke. All right, that's not a problem. So there's a, a line in there of, uh, you can kind of see it, that white. All right, so what I'm gonna do, is just zigzag it real quick. The tip is already kind of there. I really should be doing this with indirect, but. Let's see what it looks like. What? Yeah, this is gonna work. I do not know what this stuff is. But we're gonna put this, that is sharp as heck. We're gonna put this on a dart and test it uh, in the morning. A flake. Two, I don't know what to call that. Sharp as heck. All right guys, call that a success. Tough as nails material found in that creek. Whew. There goes the smoke. We lost a lot of light. It is dark now. Um, but I finished up the spear with that point on it. And we're going to test this throwing dart in the morning. Worked on it off camera. You could see me, uh, how I do this in my other videos. Um, I've been doing it in the past few videos where I find any kind of flint or chert. Alright. I am going to crash. Have a good night, guys. I'm running a little late. So I gotta do this quick. And I have low battery. Alright. Still sharp as heck. And that's a, that is a good wound. Look at that. See it? Entrance wound. It's big too. Okay. Well, that works. One more look at it before we head out. Stone with chert. That's what I read anyway when I looked up what it could be. This is the charity part right in here and right here. The rest looks limestone to me. Cool, man. That works. <laughs>